This is a series of films that tells the history of contemporary fashion photography as seen through the eyes of models. As a model, you're still a cult model. You're still like kind of the cool model. You've always maintained that slightly I outside of it. I want to. But you know, there's, there's a few girls who are like that, who kind of maintain the sort of coolness. You know, but you, you've always had that slightly f coming from a different angle. But that's deliberate, you think? Deliberate, nothing deliberate with me. The only thing is deliberate with me is is being true to what mm. I, you know, like I said, I, I don't, I don't have, okay, you know, I give horrible, I mess up constantly. I, sometimes I get it right. A lot mm. of times I get it right, but it's all instinct. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I don't, I separate my family life from who I am as a model. And as a model, I'm not gonna say I'm a mom, I can't do that anymore. I'm not gonna say that. Do you know what? Because one day I'm gonna, wake up and say when I'm, you know, 70, and say, why didn't I, you know, I, I consider myself an artist, I have to say. I don't want to ever say, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that for, because my children don't agree, because yeah, yeah. your children are gonna be like, you know, my mom's not happy, you know, I'm yeah. happy, I'm and so happy. Well, I care about most, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, they'll have a few tough years or whatever, you know, mm. maybe my sons will look and say, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed, but, mm. Every kid is embarrassed of their parents, you know, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, true. So, no, Whatever you do, they're going to be embarrassed about it. But, you know, yeah. and I like being the cult model. It doesn't make me a lot of money, <laughs> but that's good because I can always stay the underdog. And I can. Th I think if I kind of had a L'Oreal campaign when I was, you know, 30, yeah. I wouldn't be here today. Right. It's Why did you say because, that? Well, because I think you kind of... You kind of settle. You get accepted. You get yeah. accepted for that. You yeah. you you you're a household name or whatever. I've never been a household name, and I think that kind of keeps me under the radar, which makes yeah. me a bit of a yeah a cult. Yeah, that's a fashion thing. It's yeah. a dilemma with fashion. That once you're in fashion, you are you're almost out, out of, of fashion. It. Exactly. The next minute, that's yeah. A dilemma. Yeah, I was in that position a long time. So just tell me a little bit about that. Well, is it Nijinsky? Nijinsky, am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, shoot with Peter Lindbergh mm -hmm. for Bizarre. And uh, Peter's one that just says, do something. He's right. one of those photographers that says, just do something. You're like, well, what do I do? So you have to know how to do something, which Peter is very good training for, right. for a model. Yeah. Because he doesn't tell you anything. He kind of waits to take your picture until he sees it. Right. Which is very you get really insecure because you think, oh my God, oh my God. And he won't take your picture until it's something that he sees. So you gotta keep trying. And thank God I was, you know, big on yoga. So I just kind of did this, no? And um, it was a beautiful shoot. Yeah, I loved it. And I felt fat. I felt completely fat in that whole shoot, really? which I don't see now. No. But I remember going on the airplane to New York, I think it was in London, thinking, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so fat. So there you go, I mean, but um, that shoot is very beautiful and I couldn't feel my left hip <laughs> for about a week after <laughs> that one. But, but Peter is another one, one yeah. of the greats that gets, when he sees the image he likes, gets so excited. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my, he's like shaking. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, you know. So. That's what I live for. I yeah. live for that, you yeah. know, like a photographer being excited about what he's shooting. And then you could, I, I stayed there for I don't know how long, but you can if you're given that, you know? And, uh, and that, that, whole, that whole bizarre shoot is really beautiful, you know? It was just like, yeah. I'm very proud of it. And I forgot about being fat. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about, I think the dresses that didn't fit, we didn't use, you know? But, and um, is that something that's, that you found throughout your career? Do you have a relationship with food which is difficult? Yeah, well, definitely. Not difficult. Um, I know as a model, one of the criteria of being a model is to be thin. Clothes, I'm sorry, I might insult people, look better. Certain clothes mm -hmm. look better on thin mm -hmm. girls, women, whatever. If you're not then you can wear anything and you know and you can but if you're a model you have to be able to wear anything you mm -hmm. know anything that's put on your body and that's just the way it goes and yeah. I just I accept that and I so yeah I've trained myself I think I have I eat the most healthy things I can get to get the most nutrients out of yeah. them you know without like indulging this stupid stuff because I know it's my job 
if you're a banker, you have to know about this. If you're this, you have to know about that. If you're a photographer, you have to know about lighting and, and, and you know, and, and in your case, the iPhone, you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, but you know, if you're a model, which is all I am and a mother at the moment, I've got to show up. I've got to look fit. I've got to fit in the clothes. Yeah. I've got to fit in the clothes. And that's it. And I, I wouldn't, if I didn't fit, fit in the clothes, I wouldn't feel comfortable anyway. So, you know, I just, um, it's all about confidence in front of the camera. You've yeah. got to feel confident.